she was very confident. Put a yeah. Mark over the top. Yeah, the, the long. Yeah. Uh, she was. Uh, I thought she was a difference early because the game was nip and tuck the whole way, mm -hmm. and uh, you know it was 11-9, 11-11. Not only her offense, but their defense. Awesome. Things cool. Okay, yeah, thank you. That's good. That's on to camera now. Um, but I mean, she. I mean, her threes had opened up because they, they took Jody Grant right out of the game for us. Yeah. They basically yeah. they put two, three people around Jody, and she wasn't. And they zoned us, and she wasn't able to get get her game off. So um, Eliza, that second quarter, right, I think it was a ten point lead at halftime. Yeah. Uh, she was the one that kind of gave us a little bit of an edge, and then the third quarter was kind of just basket for basket. We said we wanted to win the third quarter. Which we did win um, because I think we were up 14 going yeah. to the fourth, and then they they came at us. And I my one disappointment in the game was just how we handled their their full foot pressure and mm -hmm. the little two minute quarter there where we were just go handing them the ball. Um, but you know we, we were able to get out of it. And we had the 37 30 we were able to get out of it and, and, and do our thing. We had 14 to 70 from the foul line, which. At this Huge. place, it's tough. Yeah. It's tough. This is just a tough place to shoot foul shots. And we were kind of uh, talking about, you know, last night, some of the kids were watching the Eastern, our Eastern counterparts in Winslow last night, mm -hmm. and the fourth quarter was one for eight for the foul line. Yeah. And they unfortunately lost in overtime, and they lost to the buzzer beater uh, to put it in overtime, and they lost. So um, that's what we said. We, said. we said, we don't want to lose on a buzzer beater because we didn't make our foul shots. So that, those were different. I thought the play, when they got to 37 30, I think we beat the pressure. I think Sam Fortin got fouled. And that made a 39-3. That kind of let me breathe yeah. again. That, that was, I thought was really, really good at that point. Um, and then from there, I, I must feel more confident with us on defense than I do us on offense. Because on defense, we're not going to have a turnover. Uh, although we, we did lose some of our composure, we, we were reaching a lot. So we didn't do great with that. But, but as a whole, kids need to step up. And, you know, at the beginning of the game, if you sold tickets on, on percentage of who it would be, I don't think Eliza Holcomb's name would have come up right. so much. Although she, she, had a, she had a really good game the other day, too. Mm -hmm. And then what, what my assistant coach said is she, she came to McKenzie for us tonight. I think McKenzie scored. So that's a plus 19 in that, that matchup for us, which um, the game being a 14 pointer, I guess 19 is nice. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, Eliza does, she has everything. I like, I mean, she had four or five threes, but she also, like, she had some nice uh, rebounding, some nice, you know, takeaways, some nice. Uh, uh, inside shots, so I mean that's great. She, she's a risk taker, and, and, and the fact that she'll get some turnovers too, because she, sometimes she'll, she'll, she'll have a chance to make a great play, and sometimes great plays fall flat on your face because you've made that effort. So at least she's not passive and safe. Yeah. At least she's saying, you know what, I'm going to take that and I'm going to make that, that extra pass and maybe we'll get something out of it or whatnot. So, um, so she's did, did a good job. Um, I just, we all just really wanted this game really badly, so when I felt that I was open, I took my shots, even though I didn't make all of them. I just knew that we had to score because Jordy's game was being taken away, but I think as a team we just shot very well, and like, collectively it was just a really uh, well shooting game for us. Um, we just knew, we kind of had an idea that they might throw zone at us, so we worked on shots during practice and stuff, and um, defensively, we tried to defend their inbounds plays a little bit, but um, overall, I think we just knew we had to we had to work hard, like we do always. Um, I think we just knew that we really needed to step it up at that point because there was still four minutes left in the game, and anything could have happened. So together, it was a team effort again. We needed to pull away, and we ended up doing so. We're super excited, and you know it's the next game like it's been all season. So we just need to work hard again and work on our game.